Okay, in this example, we'll take another look at some of the special effects you can create by painting on masks. And in this example, we have two images. Both have had their backgrounds removed, and you can see that in the Layers panel that each object is on its um, transparent layer. And that's because they are just a piece of uh, stock photography that came on a white background, and we quickly just used the wand tool to remove all of the white areas from these. So what we want to do is we want to create an effect where this lock appears to sort of be dangling over the gun so that part of this um, loop part of the lock would be blocked while the other part would be visible. I'm just going to move it into place right here. Now also one of the things um, we have available to us as far as options is that we can actually create this effect about three different ways at least from the initial masking uh, point of view. We can select the object and this is how we will do it. We'll click the add mask button down here in the layers panel and that'll quickly create an empty white bitmap mask all around this so that we can then edit it. But we also have the ability to go to modify mask, reveal all or hide all. And if we were to choose one of these, the reveal all would be a, probably a wiser choice because we're only going to hide or mask out a part of this lock. We're not going to hide that much of it. So by revealing all of it and then just taking a small point, small part of it, would be better than hiding the whole thing and having to brush out and bring this all back. So we'll use the add mask icon here just because it's a little bit faster in this example. And you can see over here in the layers panel that it just creates an empty white mask, white bitmap mask around it. And what we can do now is using the brush tool, we can paint out part of this mask. I'm going to select the mask, grab the brush tool, and the first key to click when you're working with this is either the is the D key and that quickly resets the default settings for the stroke and the fill and you can see that the stroke is set to black and the fill is set to white and the next key to put your finger on is the X key and as you see each time I click the key you can switch back and forth between white and black and of course the reason that's important is that when we're creating this effect all over this lock as we paint on it the black is uh, the white is what's going to show us the lock. Click it again. The black is what's going to hide the lock. And obviously, we'll probably make a few mistakes along the way, so we'll have to go back and forth. So I'll click the X key again, and now I can paint the mask. I'll paint the lock back in place by painting on the mask. And you can see that in the thumbnail panel as well. If I click the key again for black, which is going to hide this, you can see over here that as I paint with black it hides more and more of the lock but anyway I'll be enough fooling around right here let's go ahead and just fix this example alright I probably erased more than I wanted you can see over here in the layers panel that there's still a little bit more and let's see if I can't get all of that out so I get some down there there's more all right, I'm going to turn this all the way up. There we go. I'm actually going to turn it to a soft rounded line. That'll probably be good, maybe a little bit too high. Edge, I'll just keep it to a, a soft edge. I don't need it all the way. And at the top part, I'll have to adjust the, uh, the brush as well. So all I want to do with black, so clicking the X key, there's my black stroke, is just kind of paint over parts of the lock that I want to hide. This is a really simple example, actually. There's that, and coming down here, painting to remove the lock. And I went a little bit too far. Let me zoom in there. So Control Space Bar, and so you can see I painted. I went too far. So I'll click the X key to switch it. I can see that visually right here. And I'm just going to paste that up, paint that back in there. Probably want to bring my brush size down. This is what's so wonderful about. Uh, masking and fireworks is that you always can edit it. And of course there I should have switched my cursor back. So X again to bring up the black. We want to hide this. And depending on how far we want to go to it, I probably want a little bit too much right there. I'd probably want to switch to a hard rounded or hard line get this a little bit easier up there but nothing wrong with using a soft edge on this one there we go I'll leave it at that 
Control one, bring this over, and there is our effect. Pretty cool, huh?